Welcome everybody with your YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World, Trey Morris here, as I am here to give you your WrestleMania 31 predictions. Now, I was going to do this tomorrow, but I'm probably not going to be able to because I'm going to be at my grandma's tomorrow and later in the night. So, I am here to I give you this before I leave, so, so I will be here. And I will give you guys your WrestleMania 31 review this Monday. So stay tuned to the channel this Monday. And sorry I skipped out on NXT review this Wednesday. I've been pretty busy uh, with school and excitement about WrestleMania 31. I've, it's my first time uh, watching WrestleMania live. But tune in to it uh, this Sunday live on the WWE Network for just $9.99. And here we go with our first prediction. Our first prediction is the kickoff in a fatal four-way uh, tag team championship tag team match between Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, New Day, Los Matadores, and the Usos. Now, this is a really hard match, that I think, because I like... All teams. I mean, these guys are actually, I do like. Los Matadores, I do like. I do like uh, the Usos. I predicted that Tyson Kidd and Cesaro would uh, win the championship I, at Fastlane, and I was uh, right about this. Now, this is really tough because last year I got my prediction right of the Usos winning at WrestleMania 30. The tag team championship uh, match, but it's going to be really hard to pick who is going to win this year. You know what? I'm just going to go with the blatant uh, decision, and I'm going to say Tyson Kidd and Cesaro retain the WWE tag team championships this Sunday at the kickoff, starting at 5. Next match is AJ Lee and Paige versus the Bella Twins. Now, this is a match between frenemies versus sisters. Now, if you saw what happened last Monday on Raw, AJ and Paige had a little fight, and they and this thir last Thursday on SmackDown, they decided. They, uh, to let their past be behind them and move to the future for WrestleMania. As they, uh, as my prediction is, AJ and Paige defeat the Bellas. And then my future match prediction, AJ and Paige for I uh, and Bree and Nikki in a Fatal Four Away Tag uh, Divas Championship match. And my prediction. Either Nikki or Paige in that match if it happens. So, next match. The Intercontinental Championship Ladder Match between the defending champion Bad News Barrett, the Lunatic Fringe, Dean Ambrose, the Show Off, Dolph Ziggler, the Flying Goat, Daniel Bryan, R Truth, Bulgy Eyed uh, Luke Harper. And former Cody Rhodes, Stardust. So, this is a really hard match. Because it's been hot potato for months and months and months. It's been hot potato for that Intercontinental Championship. And it has been really funny. Because it's been like, it was Dean, Truth, Dean, Ziggler, Harper, Truth. A I Stardust, Ambrose, Truth, Bad News Barrett, and Bad News Barrett for next week, and all of a sudden he gets it stripped of him for the ladder match, which I thought was pretty funny. Which I still think is pretty hilarious that Bad News Barrett only got to hold on to it for a couple of weeks, and then he after the hot potato and. <clears throat> but my prediction, and I'm going with the three Ds. Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan. Those are my three 
choices for winners. The main winner I want, Dean Ambrose or Daniel Bryan. Now that's a hard decision. Daniel or Dean? Daniel, Dean, Daniel, Dean. I gotta go with Daniel Bryan. Actually, no, 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 no. Dean Ambrose. I predict Dean Ambrose climbs the ladder and retrieves the Intercontinental Championship. And I defends it with pride. I'm counting on you, Dean. Make me proud. Alright, sorry. I had to move my camera. It's a little off. Next match is a match in the making. Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. Now, this match is pretty hard. Because last year we saw the streak ended by Brock Lesnar to The Undertaker. We saw the 20, uh, 21 and 0 streak come to an end with three F5s and making it 21 and 1. Now Bray Wyatt wants to stand up, stand up to the plate and end The Undertaker. He's been talking all about it. He called out The Undertaker at Fastlane. And it's been really tough for The Undertaker. Because he still has some injuries from last year. It's still, he still has a little bit of a concussion from the damage Brock Lesnar did to him at WrestleMania 30. But, but he ain't going to be 100%. I can tell you that. Because I've been reading online and a little bit on rumors, and they were saying that Undertaker ain't going to be 100% at WrestleMania. But I don't believe any word of that. I believe Undertaker beats Bray Wyatt. The new face of fear goes down! And Undertaker makes it. 22 and 1 at WrestleMania. The man will beat the face of fear. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little serious there. Alright, next match is Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. Now, this is a match that I've been uh, waiting for, and I thought this was actually going to happen at WrestleMania right when Randy Orton uh, got his, almost had his career ended. Because you remember, last November, Randy Orton got curve stomped on a table in steel steps that almost ended his career. And at Fastlane, he returned, and he tricked Seth Rollins into thinking he was going to join the Authority. Think again, Rollins. Randy Orton betrayed him a few weeks later and almost taking out Rollins, which I thought was going to happen. Because I was thinking when he came to the authority, I was like, Randy's got something in his mind. He's going to attack him. There ain't no way he's going to freaking team up with the man that freaking almost ended his career. Why would you do that, Randy? But Randy Orton is going to WrestleMania for vengeance. He's going there to take out the future of the WWE. Now, I've been hearing a lot of uh, uh, things about, about, about freaking uh, people saying that they're going to look to the future of the WWE. And Randy Orton's been here for a long time. Oh, Rollins is going to win. I predict Randy Orton wins at WrestleMania. He skipped last year. Wrest oh, no. Wait, no, he didn't. He didn't skip last year. I was going to say. I was like, what the hell's wrong with me today? <laughs> but, um. But this is going to uh, be a fun match. I can't wait for it. My prediction, Randy Orton defeats the future. 
next match is this is a match I've been dying to see. This is what dot wait no. I don't think I should do this match uh next. The next match I forgot almost forgot about this. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Now if you remember last year at WrestleMania that Hulk Hogan made this match happen. And this was a match that everybody uh, wanted to see. The winner gets an Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy. The last man standing. When all men have been thrown over the top rope, both feet landing on the floor, wins the champion, uh, wins the trophy. And you remember last year, Cesaro picked up the victory to get the championship. I mean, to get the t trophy. Why am I... Why am I saying championship? <laughs> but, um, but this is going to be a really hard match to decide. I don't know who's going to be in it, but I'm thinking Sheamus is going to return at WrestleMania and going to I fight in that Memorial Battle Royal. But if he doesn't, my prediction, Ryback wins the trophy. Be me more. Feed me more! Feed me more! Done! Sorry, you hear an echo. <laughs> now, next match. This is what die hard fans have been waiting for Vigilante versus King. Vigilante versus Game. Vigilante versus Cerebral Assassin. The icon, Sting, making his in-ring debut at WrestleMania versus Triple H. Now, both of these men have ex uh, outstanding resumes on their career. Sting, the franchise of WCW. The man that went from energetic, went from colorful paint and almost looking like Jeff Hardy. Well, the first one to do it, going to black and white and taking out the NWO and sending them to the WWE before, well, they didn't, he didn't send them to WWE yet. And when WCW went down, I, when the ship called w, I, C, I, WCW went down, Sting went down with it. And now he's risen back up to take Triple H down. Because if you've seen what, uh, his career, he has been WCW champion. I don't remember most of his WW, WCW career. I think he won tag team championships with the Warrior, with the Ultimate Warrior. Fun time, I don't remember. I think he won a television title in the U.S. title, too. I don't I don't remember his WCW days. The only time I remember his WCW days was when Bash at the Beach, when Hulk Hogan betrayed, and all of a sudden he turned black and white, and then he started taking out Hulk Hogan in the NWO. That was when I remembered Sting. I When I remember Sting's career in WCW. And then he went to TNA... And did really good there, and and became TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Had some fights against Kurt Angle, Mr. Kennedy, Jeff Jarrett, and especially Jeff Hardy. And then he's coming here to take out the authority, and which I think is the best way for Sting to start his career here in WWE. But this is going to be a really fun match. And I predict Vigilante beats Game. Vigilante beats King. Vigilante beats Cerebral Assassin at WrestleMania. The corporate sellout. Well, the corporate COO and his wife 
are being taken out at WrestleMania. My prediction. Next match is now. I want to do this match cut. I cause I know that I wanted to do the best match. I want to do the match that I'm anticipating for for last. Brock Lesnar defends his WC W. Why am I saying WCW? Ugh, curse you, Sting. Brock Lesnar defends his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Roman Reigns in our main event at WrestleMania. Now, this is going to be a really good match. I have been waiting. I knew Brock uh, Roman Reigns would fight Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. And I thought it was going to be an epic match. And this time, I'm actually going to look to the future. And the future is Roman Reigns. Not Seth Rollins. Not Adam Rose, not Adrian Neville, not Kevin Owens, not Seven Sami Zayn, not Finn Balor, not Tyler Breeze, not he I he Hideo Itami. It's Roman Reigns. And this one is gonna be a really tough match. People have been saying, Oh, Roman Reigns can't. Roman Reigns can't. He won't beat Brock Lesnar. And Roman Reigns has been saying, screw you guys, I can and I will. And this is, I, I thought, uh, the, I definitely, Roman Reigns was going to take out Brock Lesnar before Brock Lesnar's contract ends up. And if you saw what happened on ESPN, Brock Lesnar says he re-signed with the WWE. His do uh, The doors are closed. For the UFC. The doors have closed for MMA. Brock Lesnar says he's an entertainer. Brock Lesnar says he's a wrestler. And he will stay that way. I thought Brock Lesnar was going to be the quitter that he used to be. And he still is. Because how many times have you seen Brock Lesnar compete? Not that often. The only time you see him compete is at pay-per-views. You don't get the guys who uh, don't spend the money that much money on the WWE to entertain themselves. Why not have at least one match uh, for Brock Lesnar to come back? I mean, he is being re-signed to WWE. What, are you going to give him three months off after WrestleMania when he loses? Or if he wins? I mean, you did that uh, after he, I lost to John Cena by disqualification and now the champions. But this is going to be a really tough match to uh, decide. And But I already made my decision. I just made my decision on Wednesday. Roman Reigns, the powerhouse, conquers the conqueror. Roman Reigns is the one to beat the one in 21 and 1. Roman Reigns is my prediction to be the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And now, the moment you all have been waiting for, the last match of my predictions, the United States Championship match, Russia versus the United States of America. John Cena versus Rusev for the United States Championship. Now, this war has been going on for several months. Well, for a couple of months, not several. <laughs> Rusev and John have been going at it ever since after the Royal Rumble. That's how long they've been fighting against each other. And Cena passed out because of Lana coming into the ring and Rusev cheating. That is B freaking S. You want to make John Cena pass out? You're going to piss off John Cena and the C Nation. I'm a C Nation member for life. 
I will be uh, I in C Nation Army for as long as I live. And John Cena says he's going to beat Rusev and bring the United States Championship back home to the United States of America. In which we all thank you, John. And hopefully you do. My prediction, John Cena beats Rusev. The undefeated Rusev loses at WrestleMania. And that's my predictions right there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed uh, these predictions. If you did, like that uh, button. If you disagree, comment be uh, below. If you still like, uh, agree, comment below of uh, what you think of the predictions and uh, what you uh, think what's going to happen in WrestleMania. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel because there will be more pay-per-view uh, predictions coming your way later. And more NXT reviews next week, next Wednesday, when he, uh, Hideo Itami fights Tyler Breeze in a 2 out of 3 falls match at NXT. Stay tuned for the NXT review. And until next time, this is your YouTube Wrestling Champion or Trinity Moore signing off saying, Later!